Hi everyone, welcome to the Alkaline for Life community. You know, for 30 years I've been improving my own health, working with thousands of clients to improve their health, and one nutrient I found to be extremely important, one plant compound that I found to be extremely important is quercetin. And quercetin is a flavonoid. There are 6,000 flavonoids, but quercetin is the most potent one and the most And it works synergistically with vitamin C, found in foods like broccoli, peppers, berries, onions. Quercetin turns out to be the most potent antihistamine, the most potent natural antihistamine. It's a very effective antioxidant. It's a very effective anti-inflammatory, and not only does it reduce inflammation, but it instigates and initiates repair. If you have a health concern, and you say, you know, the doctors don't find anything really wrong, but I'm not in perfect health or I'm having some pain. One amazing thing about quercetin is its capacity to reduce pain. It very quickly reduces pain, particularly if used with vitamin C. So what I, what I want to do is just go over what the major eight benefits that I've seen in my practice with quercetin. And maybe you can think about giving it a try if you say, I'm not quite there. I don't quite have... I still have some problems. I still have some congestion, some inflammation, some pain syndromes. Let's go over the eight points and you can give it a consideration to see if it's not worth trying. You always want to get a special quercetin, a quercetin dehydrate, one that's very safe. They can have very inexpensive forms of quercetin like ground up bark. That's not a good idea. Quercetin dehydrate, a very purified form. We use the relieve and repair formula. Let me tell you the major eight benefits. Of course, as I mentioned, it's the best natural antihistamine, so it's very anti-allergy. If you want to know how that works, it inhibits mast cell activation. Mast cell are those happens with an allergy. Mast cell activation is inhibited. It blocks inflammatory activities. It stabilizes and protects the cell membrane. It does things like reduce interleukin-6, and it is very similar in effect to many allergy medications, particularly the medication chromalin. It's found to be as effective and safer than that medication. And it compares very well with the effect of non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, although quercetin is much safer. Quercetin is also a very potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant. Wherever there's inflammation, there's pain. That's why quercetin will help with pain because it's anti-inflammatory. It will shut down that cascade of inflammatory reactions and it is antioxidant, so it helps quench the free radicals associated with inflammation. There's thousands of articles on quercetin. You can search it yourself on PubMed details of how it decreases inflammatory mediaries, how it affects prostaglandins, many, many activities that have an anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effect. And what does that mean for you? It means there's going to be less pain and it's going to protect the cells so that they can function more properly. Antihistamine, anti-inflammatory. The next favorite use of quercetin I like is antiviral. And you might have heard with this current epidemic, people talking about quercetin, because quercetin, it's been known since 1980 that quercetin was very effective for all sorts of flus. And it particularly interferes with virus replication. It's highly studied. It was high, in, in, with this COVID crisis, they looked at many compounds, many plant compounds, and this was the fifth most successful in actually being antiviral. And so it's a very strong antiviral. It makes sense, right? We use it in conjunction with vitamin C. They work together. They're often found together in nature, and they're both strong antivirals. Quercetin particularly supports lung functioning. It enhances lung functioning, and it reduces the severity of upper respiratory tract infections. Very good for the lungs. Lots of mechanisms by which it works. Number four, it's neuroprotective. For example, it helps to maintain a good energy flow in the brain, and it actually crosses the blood-brain barrier and protects the brain from oxidative stresses and free radicals. We don't think much about the fact that there is a blood-brain barrier. The body doesn't want a lot of things getting into the brain, 
but it does want quercetin getting into the brain because it helps to protect from free radical damage and inflammation in the brain. All the neurons in the brain are helpfully protected by quercetin. Quercetin also encourages autophagy within the brain where nature kind of house cleans and recycles cells that are no longer very healthy. The sixth point I keep in mind about quercetin is it has certain anti-cancer properties. Particularly studies suggest that it helps with apoptosis or recycling of tumor cells. There's been quite a few studies on quercetin and breast cancer. And it makes sense, right? It's antioxidant. Cancers are very related to oxidative damage. It's anti-inflammatory. Almost all disease is based in inflammation. So I like the anti-cancer effects of quercetin. As with all these natural plant compounds, they're so helpful. I like quercetin amongst all of them also. Quercetin also has been documented to enhance physical performance. All of us are trying to keep our energy as high as we can to perform as well as we can. Quercetin actually increases the VO2 max, the oxygen you can uptake. It relaxes the muscles during exercise. Many people find they don't develop the pain that they get after strenuous exercise when they are on a regular base of quercetin and vitamin C. And it protects the muscles, again, from free radical damage. Remember, free radicals damage every tissue. When we exercise, we produce a lot of free radicals. Quercetin helps to reduce the exercise impact of oxidative damage. Finally, my favorite thing that I want to put on my list of quercetin benefits is that it's anti-aging. And you might say, well, how can it be anti-aging? There it is, anti-inflammatory, controlling free radicals. These are the two causes of aging. And so I certainly have it as a part of my anti-aging protocol, as part of my protocol for allergens, should I get exposed to anything, as part of my protocol for health maintenance and for boosting immunity on so many fronts. Quercetin is a great nutrient. It's becoming very popular today. If you use quercetin, get a very high quality quercetin dehydrate, no additives, no fillers, quercetin dehydrate. What we have is relieve and repair high potency quercetin. I, in my practice, have used it for 30 years. I have found great benefits. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes.